Sieht's aus, meine Damen und Herren. So, jetzt holt Oma und Opa noch mal aus dem Bett, zerrt den Hund vor den Fernseher, packt neue Batterien in die Lichtschwerter, denn meine heutigen Gäste sind nicht weniger als die Stars in einem Spin-Off der legendärsten Filmreihe unserer Zeit. Hier ist der Cast des neuen Star Wars Spin-Offs der Serie Obi-Wan Kenobi. Herzlich willkommen, Moses Ingram, Hayden Christensen und Hugh McGregor. To see you, standing ovations in Germany. Oh yes, feelings in Germany. Yes, yes. This is something we have raw. <laughs> They never did that for me. I don't never. It. Yeah, but it is a fact. <laughs> They must be getting paid or something to do it. Huh? I was there. Very sweet, thank you. We didn't tell them to do that. But this is quite, quite a good thing, I guess. I think it's some kind of an achievement on your bucket list when you kind of created feelings in Germany. <laughs> is, this, is this something you have when you tour around the world, like a, a bit of a bucket list that you can do, like a roadside attraction that you, okay, now we're in Berlin, we have to do this and that, and of course we have to talk about everything that we're doing, but... We never have a lot of time to do much sightseeing or anything. Yeah. We had a little walk around this morning, and it's so nice to be in Berlin. It's been very, it's been very difficult not to be able to travel for so long. You yeah, know? yeah. And uh, to finally be in Europe and be in Germany and be in Berlin, it just feels really great. So it's nice to be here. Very good. So do, do, do you feel a bit like a band touring around? Because you're, you're almost <laughs> together, the three of you, doing, of course, talking about the series and about everything. But is it a bit like being a band but with, without those exhausting concerts and everything? <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. I mean, certainly with these fancy microphones we have on. Um, but oh, I yeah, I mean, that's... <laughs> That's 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 the fun of this part is we get to travel around, go to go to some amazing cities and and talk about a a, a show that we uh, yeah we, a show you know it's not just making. a random show it's the show that everyone was waiting for and uh, it's Obi Wan Kenobi it's a spinner from the the big Star Wars universe I would say and it, could that that also be an entry to this whole universe for people who maybe. Are, were too young to see the first Star Wars movie when it came out. Yeah, I'm sure. I mean, the thing about Star Wars is that it's growing all the time. You know, since we made our film in, uh, two films in 2000 and then 2003, huh? the Star Wars world's grown and grown. There's like game shows, uh, no, not game shows, there's uh, video, <laughs> video games. There's, there's everything. Yeah. The Star Wars game show. There's a new... <laughs> there should be. There's a new idea. Wait, maybe there's we a, create one. Yeah. Maybe. Video games, comics, novels. TV shows, movies, this sort of world of Star Wars is growing all the time. So for sure, I think maybe yeah. we'll get some new audience members. Who knows? Moses, what would you say? Uh, what is it about? If you do, of course, we know it could be about a lot of things if you're deep into the Star Wars uh, universe. But what would you say? What is it about? I would say it's about, you know, old haunts and also nostalgia and... I'm really excited for people to see it and to, you know, get back to the thing that they've loved so much and the reunification of sorts. <laughs> It's still that weird thing of like, I don't know what I'm supposed to say that I yeah. can't say, but you know, I hope people like it. The, I like it. The, the people try to squeeze out the information every time you appear anywhere, I guess so. Every time. Yes, every time, but we have a little clip. So this is the first bit of uh, the series Obi-Wan Kenobi, look at this. Der Kampf ist vorbei. Bleib im Verborgenen. Lebe ein normales Leben. Ich bitte dich, uns in Frieden zu lassen. Wenn es soweit ist, muss er unterwiesen werden. Wie du seinen Vater unterwiesen hast? Ja. Ist es still weird for you, uh, see yourself speaking German? Yeah, but what's interesting is it sounds quite like me, you know? It sounds, it sounds like me. 
Yeah, it, it sounds like you. Yeah, of course. Yeah, for us, it, this sounds weird. Right. <laughs> <laughs> because you can is... tell me before the show goes <laughs> yeah. out tonight. You, you have the wrong voice. Yeah, I'm you. sorry. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> we got used to the other voice, but you know, um, you, you came as, as the, the latest to the, the the whole the whole cast, and mm -hmm. and you know, do you feel like a bit of a responsibility to do everything right? Well, it's interesting because at first I didn't. At first it was like so free because I didn't know as much as I know now. And as I've like come out and like begun to like meet people and talk to people, I'm like, oh, don't get it wrong. Please don't get it wrong. You know, but I mean, for the most part, people assume goodwill and it's all, you know, love and fun. And so, yeah, yeah it's cool. Um, there is a lot of merchandise. And do you do you have the the whole merchandise? Uh, do you have, do, a, have the uh, whole <laughs> do, do you have uh, do you have a second house for all the merchandise that they gave you for mm -hmm. free? Uh, no, I do have a nice collection of of Star Wars memorabilia. Um, mm -hmm. Back when we were doing the prequels, they used to like send me. I'm sure you too. Like, yeah. Sort of. You know, one of each of the toys or, or whatever was coming out. And yeah. They stopped sending me it. I don't know why. But I've got oh. a few kicking around the house. I've got I've got a nice. Uh, Darth Vader spatula that I, I a spatula? yeah that I use all the time yeah, oh. yeah. <laughs> I want pictures of the spatula being used yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this game is called Fan versus Cast or Cast versus Fan the ultimate Star Wars quiz and so we have one team here. And we now meet your opponent, Giovanna. And Giovanna, she's 25 years old. She's from Hamburg, from Germany. Please give a big round of applause for Star Wars superfan, Giovanna. Lady, thank you. Joanna, hi. Hi. Schön, dass du da bist. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Danke, dass ich hier sein darf. Yeah, of course, of course. So we, we, we just asked, who is the biggest Star Wars fan? Who knows everything? And you were saying, hi, it's me. And then we said, okay. <laughs> And here Here's your invitation. There you are. So, okay. <laughs> we have another guy. He's an expert on movies at all. Everybody knows him here. Uh, er ist der Kindergartenlehrer, den Joko und ich niemals hatten. Und er hat sich auch beworben bei uns. Hat gesagt, er möchte mitkommen. He's a host from German TV, but he wanted to to uh, give us some support. Uh, say hello to Stephen Gätchen. So, Stephen, I'll do the Star Wars fan. Ich bin, äh, kann man ja sehen, ja. Star Wars Schuhe, ja. Sweatshirt. Ja. Äh, ich bin ein Riesenfan. Ich weiß nicht, ob ich Giovanna so unterstützen kann. Ich bin, I'm just here for more support, basically. Ja, okay. okay. Let's, let's wait and see what happens. Ja, yeah, he, he didn't want to let me just do this alone. And that was basically the idea for him to come here. Ja. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Because he's another host in German TV. So. <lacht> um, let's, uh, Dann erklär doch mal die Regeln. Ja. Yeah. <lacht> I want to maybe explain the rules because it's something that he's really good at. So, this is your prize. This is originally signed. Giovanna, das kriegst du. Wenn du gewinnst, kriegst du das hier. Das ist natürlich unterschrieben von allen dreien. Ähm, du kriegst nichts, Steven. Und du, <lacht> ihr, you will get this. This is German bread. All right. Okay. This is German bread. Everyone loves it in the US, and that's why it's so successful in America. Because everyone loves German bread and blah, blah. Okay. Bread and Speisequark. Yeah. That's yeah. so super. Yeah, okay. Spies, it's, ju it's just a sandwiches. <laughs> Giovanna, um, wie bist du Star Wars fan geworden? How, how did you become a Star Wars fan? Such a big one. I watched it with my brother and dad when I was little. And my brother and me, we like just role played the whole movie, the whole saga every day for five or six years yeah. and it's yeah. it's always the same when we watch Star Wars it's just it made my childhood so great so thank Aww. you guys for Aww. what you did That's very beautiful. Yeah. round one 
What color is Obi Wan's lightsaber? Star Wars super fan. Okay, Star Wars super fan. You have to put a bit more. Okay. You, know, you have okay. to push a bit uh, harder. That's fair. And okay, Mr. so it was I yours. It. It's blue. It's blue. Do you think that is correct? It's blue, of course, you know, you know, that was easy, but this is the first point for you. Yeah. It is blue. Actually, it is. So, now just push it as hard as you can. Okay. 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 Um, which planet does Anakin Skywalker come from? Holy monkey, no we cast! <laughs> <laughs> That's an easy one. Uh, Tatooine. Tatooine. And this is the correct answer. I said I'm science. I said I'm science. And we have Moses Ingram, Eden Christensen, and Ewan McGregor, and Giovanna on the other side, and they are playing against each other in the big Cast vs. Fan Star Wars Quiz, the ultimate Star Wars Quiz. And Steven Gätchen has also noch reingeschummelt yeah. and hilft aber. Und das finde ich nett. Giovanna, and that's the Preis. Wirklich original unterschrieben, ein Plakat natürlich von Obi-Wan Kenobi. Und um, jetzt geht's weiter. We have the next question, so please concentrate, ladies and gentlemen. Um, what Every day object was used to create the com link. Oh, the Holy monkey, no we cast! Oh. What was it? A razor? It was a, more specific? Ladies razor. It was a ladies razor, yeah. It was, it was, yeah. On, um, applause. Yeah, very good. We have a picture, we have a picture. Look at this. <laughs> ah, that's hilarious. <laughs> uh, 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 what, what was it like to phone with the lady shaper all the time? But yeah, it, there, uh, everywhere you look on the Star Wars set, there's things that are... Really? Yeah, repurposed and... I mean, the, the, the happiest people on the Star Wars set really are the props people, the props makers. And yeah. They just... It's, the, it's like a dream come true to make all this stuff. Yeah? yeah? <laughs> I remember when in, in episode one, we were, I was standing with Hugh Quarshy and... Ralph and um, Liam, and we got in, the st in, the, in a cockpit, and George yeah. Lucas came in and he went, we're all looking, it's the first cockpit scene we've ever done, you know, yeah. we're looking at all the stuff everywhere, and George came in and he went, okay, you come in, <laughs> you start up the spaceship and you take off. <laughs> and that was it, that's all he told us. We had to make it all up, all the, yeah. wow. you know, nobody shows you what to do with and that And you stuff. were like improvising, like maybe that one, yeah, this maybe, is the, oh, there was the light. Maybe this no? is the hyperdrive generator. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I guess not. Okay, yeah. so but you have to remember because you have to do it again and again and uh, again. Yes. Yeah, that's right. That's the problem. So, yeah. okay, okay. Uh, now you really have to um, you have to do something. We come now to the next round. Yeah, you have to be a little bit more strong, Giovanna. How so? That's so drauf. While filming in the woods for Return of the Jedi, the actor who played Chewbacca had to have special protection. So I give you three. Choices to answer. Why? First, his costume could easily sink into the mud so he couldn't get out by himself. Was it B, they were afraid that the bears in the forest might attack him? <laughs> or C, he had to be protected from Bigfoot hunters? That was super huh? it, It's C. It's C? It's C. He had to be... Protected why? why? Why would you...? Because, I, I don't know, some people believe in Bigfoot and when they see Chewbacca, they think, oh, that's but, Bigfoot. But it, it sounds crazy, but that's the correct answer. Ah, it is. <laughs> that's the correct answer. There you go. What's the story Very behind good. this? Uh, have you heard about this story? Is it too long? Oh, no. It's too fast. Have you heard about this story? No. No? I never heard that, no. Steven, kennst du die Geschichte, dass du dann tatsächlich offenbar so viele Bigfoot-Leute da hast? Ja. ja. Also ich okay. habe dir auch schon mal... Wir haben eben gerade so ein ja. paar Fakten ausgetauscht. Und äh, da gibt es schon absurde Sachen. Ja. I heard about it. Ja. It's a really crazy story, but, you know, ja. in the end... It's America. <lacht> It's America. <lacht> ja. Round five. Okay, here we go. Which actor kept making so lightsaber noises while filming fight scenes? <lacht> 
Okay. Star Wars Superfan. Star Wars Superfan. She was really quick. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't reacting too, too, too fast. But who, yeah. who was it? I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry, Moses. It's okay. Yeah, I give you the bread. We can now often tighten. We could point at that person. Yeah, okay. Who was it? Who was making Hewan. lightsaber sounds? Hayden you... did it too, I think, yeah. but not as much yeah. as Ewan. You did it too? <laughs> so you were really like doing, by, by, you know, we see yeah. those movies once they're all, all, all finished. You know, we, we, we hear the perfect sound, we see the perfect pictures, but in, in, in the real world, you were doing <laughs> <laughs> uh, Can you do the sound that you always do when you do the lightsaber? <laughs> no, it's difficult not to, do. when you're training and rehearsing, when you like, <laughs> it's hard not to do it. Yeah, I think. Yeah, but I anyway. think it's, yeah. I, I try I, not to do it when we were actually shooting. I don't think I. I think the rumor is that I was doing it while we were yeah. shooting. But yeah, it's I, not I the rumor. Think I think uh, so. So, do, uh, according to this, it's a fact. It's a true. Oh, well, then it must be true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is another point for Joanna. There you go. And I guess, <laughs> we, I guess, I guess we have a winner here. Oh yeah, we've done it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I Yay! think so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Liebe Giovanna, Gross gewonnen! Herzlichen Glückwunsch! Herzlichen Glückwunsch! Das ist dein yeah, Preis. Du kriegst natürlich das hier. Und liebe Giovanna, du kriegst auch das ganze Merchandising, was wir da haben. Und natürlich vielleicht noch mal ein paar Glückwünsche von der Hand. Thank you very much. May the merch be with you. So, of course, you want to know what you can win, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Um, another uh, thing, that's what we want to know. Yeah, let's be honest, we forgot to bring something, and but now <laughs> I found something, like, uh, 50 minutes before the show. It's uh, five kilograms of yogurt, oh. Oh. which we had in the office. Mm -hmm. How do you say it? Spicequark? It's Speisequark. Speisequark. It's leckerer Speisequark. Speisequark. Yeah, but it wasn't in the refrigerator, so please see it as a symbolic price, okay? It yeah? wasn't oh, okay. Don't use it. Okay? Whatever you want to do with it, don't eat it. It's, okay? an, it's, an, it's an amazing prize. Yeah. It's an amazing prize, but I will, I, will, I will put it back here that you don't stare on the prize all the time. I know, we'll, okay. we'll be distracted. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so let's uh, start maybe with the first round. Here you can see three items that could be mm -hmm. original Star Wars merch. <laughs> Star Wars merch. And uh, one of them is made up by us. So, which of these items is not official Star Wars merchandising? Is it A, the Star Wars mayonnaise that you can see the star yeah. wars can we approach the items a little bit yeah you can go to the step there Shall not we? too Let's not 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 see. too close okay not too close stop you and your oh uh, i see why you can't get too you're, close you're, you're okay. holding, uh, yeah. not too close i, 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 feel, like, I feel like the spatula would go well no. with, or the, the tongs would go well with my spatula yeah, yeah. 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 you could get so, a, a whole set I kitchen could. set what's the mayonnaise just star wars mayonnaise uh, mayonnaise is the, f the first one, is the Star Wars mayonnaise. Yeah, and then we have uh, the lightsaber so barbecue tongue. It's definitely the mayonnaise. The yeah. lightsaber yeah. barbecue tongue. I what? want the tongue. Yeah. Yeah. The tongue's yeah. good. good though. Yeah, you can have everything I'm if you want. Or... <laughs> can we confer for a second? Yes, of course. Yes. Yeah, mayonnaise, yeah. The mayonnaise, the mayonnaise. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, okay. We're going to say that the mayonnaise is fake. The mayonnaise is fake. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, you're right. Okay. Yeah, you are right. You did a good job on this one. You can sit down again if you want to. Is it A, the Star Wars toothbrush? Uh, is it the uh, R2-D2 shower hat? That's real. Is it the lightsaber nose hair trimmer? <laughs> mm. I don't know. I don't know. Some things could, could surprise you. I'm going to say the toothbrush is real, because I've seen lots of, of Star Wars toothbrushes in the right. past. Mm -hmm. I, the, I don't know, the R2-D2 shower head? <laughs> uh, do, do you guys want to confer on this one and then... Uh... I feel that the, the, the nose trimmer just looks too dangerous, like, that, that's real. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe it, it, it makes good light, you know, you know where to work. 
Yes, yes, yeah. that's You know true. exactly where to put it to. That's they right. do do that thing where they burn the hairs out your nose, and I like yeah. to say, but like it. Yeah, they do it in a Berlin a lot. Do yeah. they? Oh, yeah, wow. They just cut your hair with a, with a, with, with, with fire. fire. So is it... Yeah. Are you being funny? Is that a thing here? Yeah, with a lighter, you know? Yeah? Yeah, they do. <laughs> yeah, they, they, yeah, they do it in your ear. They really do it. They do it with a lighter they blow in it your in, ear. Right? Yeah. And yeah. they blow it, and yeah, of course. So then they do. maybe that is a thing here. We yeah. just yeah. don't know. It's not really a German tradition, but they do it in Berlin. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So we meet some Germans in the, elsewhere in the world, yeah. and we say, hey, you yeah. guys burn yeah. your hair off yeah. with the lights <laughs> <laughs> the What? Fuck are you talking you know, about? you have to have a professional guy doing it. It's not like that people randomly on parties burn their hair. OK. So that's not what they do. Okay. It's just you go to a barber shop, and they will say you do it with a knife or with a lighter. No. Oh, and then wow. they, I don't know, do it somehow. Yeah. yeah. Like hair where you, which you don't. This, this is good. Okay. Let's don't, not go into details. Um, do I need to do that? Have I got hair in my ears? Tell I me. After. I feel like we're overthinking this, though, at this point. I think. Okay. I think uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, go for it. You say. Maybe, yeah. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say shower head. It's fake. I think that's the fake one, yeah. Shower head? Shower head? Would you agree on that? I can, Let, I can yeah. find it. I can find it, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah I don't want to disagree good. with you, because the last time we did that, <laughs> it got really messy. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yes, it's a shower head. Okay, the shower head and the shower head is not the right uh, answer. Mm. The lightsaber nose head trimmer would be uh, the right wow. answer. Yes, of course. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Welcome back to Late Night yeah. Berlin. Schön, dass ihr immer noch da seid. Und bei mir sind heute wunderbare Gäste Moses Ingram, Hayden Christensen und Hugh McGregor, Obi Van Kenobi. Uh, this is the series, this is the name of the series, the spin-off from, of course, Star Wars. And everyone was really, really, really uh, looking uh, forward to do it. And now, finally, you can talk about it, right? Yeah. Finally. Yeah. yeah. We could, we is it a relief, about... somehow? Yeah, it was very tedious to not be able to say that, w that I was doing it, because I knew I was doing it for years. Yeah. And, and, and I wasn't allowed to, you know, Disney yeah. and, and Lucasfilm, they just, I wasn't allowed to say that I was Would they it. even sue you? I would have got in trouble. But the trouble <laughs> is, when I was doing interviews, I was always asked. I'm, I was yeah. always asked, are you, would you do, would you play him again? Would you do a spin-off for Obi-Wan? Yeah. And I, I'd have to go, well, you know, if they... If they asked me one day that I'd be happy to do it. It started to look a bit pathetic. People on Twitter were like saying they better not cast someone else, and I was okay. so oh, humiliated. Yeah. Yeah, give him a job. You're, you're, you're knowing that someone else uh, is, is playing the role, and you're really loyal. Like, yeah, I wish I would do it again and everything. Oh God. So anyway. we're in the middle of a game, uh, Moses, Hayden, and Ewan, and it's really uh, important that you win this game because there's a prize here, whatever. Spicy Yeah, spicy It's quite Lecker. a nail biter. I think the audience will agree. It's, quite <laughs> yeah. a... it's a bit like this, yeah. And uh, as you mentioned, uh, so we have uh, Star Wars merch, and we have Star Wars merch that we just uh, invented. And you have to find out which is uh, uh, what. War das ein englischer Satz? Vielleicht, meine Damen und Herren. Which of these items is not official Star Wars merchandise? Und das ist die letzte Final Round. So we have the Chewbacca dust mop. <laughs> we have uh, a B, the lightsaber thumb wrestling game. <laughs> which is a really modern robot that we invented for this and see a lightsaber uh, selfie stick That's what would you say what is the one thing that you have to choose doesn't thing. exist yeah i mean my guess is like how would you even hold that mop do you hold it by the head and go like this you, you don't, know, you it, don't just, it doesn't make any sense not yeah. all you just put it anywhere and say like this is my chewbacca uh, dust <laughs> mop you, you don't dust actually mop. clean with it or you could flip it over and dust with Chewbacca, yeah. honestly. <laughs> but I would have to say that um, the selfie stick and the thumb thumb wards are real, and Chewbacca is Chewbacca's fake. Fake. Would you agree on that, gentlemen? I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm with her. I agree. Yes, totally. And I think that was the last step for you to come a bit closer. No, that close <laughs> as you have to be to the Speisequark, because this is right. Yeah. We did it. That's great. Wow. Don't touch it. Don't touch. 
<laughs> That'll give us time to eat on the plane tomorrow, you know, on our long trip to London. Please don't touch thank it if you. we... Thank you. Yeah. On behalf of all of us, thank You're you. You're welcome. Yeah. Uh, no problem. <laughs> but if we accidentally open it, no one will get out here alive. So. <laughs> <laughs> May the merch be with you. That was our game.